for our lunchtime a little bit, and I just want to let you guys know that. You say it starts at 11.30 or 12.30? 11.30, and lunch starts at 11. And they're having steak for lunch. My name is Kyle, and I'm going to talk about the training main final progression. So, whenever we started out our outward bound course, we started in a little rut known as training. <laughs> when we were in training, we had basically no privileges. Um, me and Darren would just tell us what to do, and we would have to do it. And we just basically did what Slay said, everything down to the point. Um, we would paddle with Nina and Darren. They would just basically navigate for us, basically cook for us, help us set up tents in the grade tarp. And then about a week into it, we got promoted to Maine, which, whenever we're in Maine, um, Ian and Darren help us out a little bit less, but we get more freedoms, like we get a ride with each other in the canoes, and like, um, we got hot drinks, like hot cocoa, and um, coffee, and tea. out at all, and they're only there for our safety, and, but we get even more privileges like desserts, and we get to choose who our community partners and team partners are, um, and then like, during those times, we could have gotten demoted by getting three strikes in one day, like, there was that one time that we got demoted from Maine for, um, Gotham in Canada, <laughs> and, and one time we got demoted on final for um, having bad boat distance. Like, we were about the football field away from each other on our boats. And we got strike for that. How close are you supposed to be? Um, Pretty close. Cool. We're supposed to be about like. Two boats apart, maybe. Enough so that okay. if you can talk in a normal voice, they can hear you. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And then, like, that day we had to do a special challenge to get back on to final. <coughs> tell you guys about it because it was interesting, but um, we had to set up camp in two hours, but we were all handicapped, um, so me and Jordan, like, we were tied together, his <laughs> <laughs> right arm, and my left leg tied his right leg, um, Justin, he couldn't use his left arm, so he had to walk around and just have it on his mouth at all times. Um, Kai, Amir, and JP, they couldn't talk at all. Oh my Ooh. god. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I used that. Yeah. Oh, that Soleil was blindfolded. <laughs> yeah, Soleil was blindfolded and he was going to cook. It was bad. <laughs> Luckily, got to take the blindfold off yeah, in the kitchen, kitchen, but in the same when I was in the kitchen, I could take my blindfold off, but I couldn't speak. So I'd like be in the kitchen, like stirring or whatever, and then I'd step out with my blindfold on, like guys, we need like macaroni. <laughs> <laughs> oh, one or the other, I right? yeah. got it. Okay. Oh yeah, and in Jordan, we were, we were, I think that he was the fire master, so we had to go out and collect firewood, and we were tied together. That was really hard. So, any questions about the training main plan progression? <laughs> I heard something about you guys winning some challenge with all the other, I guess, the Well, that's group. the PC at the end. Yeah, the first yeah, all the the Oh, yeah, and I want to add something about that night when we were um, doing that, like, handicap challenge. It was probably, like, 11 o'clock. Like, and it was, like, raining and super cold, and we were all, like, angry. Was it 11 o'clock at night? Yeah. Yeah, they said something was on time. Yeah, we paddled till about 2 o'clock in the morning one night, so. By choice or not? By force. No, literally like 40 campsites in a row were taken. Guys, we were there. Yeah, we had 
questions? So, yeah, we're running up against some time, so parents, I'm going to ask you guys to hold your questions for now, so we can get through the rest of the Thank you guys for sharing. I've got two more. I've got two more. Next is Jordan with evening meeting. So at the end of the day, we do evening meeting, which is we get to express how we feel in an environment where we're not going to be judged or people aren't going to interrupt us. And we use like props as is people respect other people. And that's so other people can talk about other people when they're speaking. And so, CHAIR is what we do during the evening meeting. And it stands for Concerns, Hopes, Appreciations, Issues, and Responsibilities. And so for an example, when we would have an evening meeting, everything would have to be ready to go to bed. We would all circle up around the fire area or wherever. And we would start with CHAIR. For an example of CHAIR would be my concern could be that we didn't travel as far as we could have today. My hope is that we get a good night's sleep. My appreciation would be that I appreciate our counselors for helping us out when we got lost. An issue could be that my legs were itching like crazy because of all the bugs. <laughs> and a ownership slash responsibility could be that we set up camp very fast today. So that's an example of chair. And then everyone in our group would go around and say something for chair. And sometimes when we were on training in Maine, our instructors would join in on chair. And then after chair, we do something called crystal ball, which is we express what's going to go on the next day and how it's going to run out. So the instructors will tell us the route. They will tell us what time we need to get up. And when we were on training in Maine, they would tell us who the temp partners were going to be, or not the temp, the Mondo partners. And New partners and such. So, so, yeah, thank you. <coughs> so they would tell us crystal ball and we'd go to bed. And I'm also going to tell you guys a little bit about something that we did to deal with issues that we have. This is for a minor issue that we use. It's called the CFR, which stands for Complaint, Feeling, and Request. And we use that when there's like a little issue that we feel that we need to express. And an example of this is my complaint is that I feel like I'm being disrespected when I'm trying to speak. My feeling is that I feel like you aren't hearing what I'm saying, and my request can be that you listen when I'm trying to help the group. So example of CFRs. And then when issues got a little bit more serious, we did something called a bomb, which usually took about an hour to two hours, because it was something that needed to get cleared with everybody, and the whole group needed to have a big discussion about because there was an issue. Not just a little issue, but something that would have been getting stacked up and our piss pot was boiling on. So a bomb stands for voice, ownership, moccasins, and plan. And our voice could be like everyone would go around and they would express how they feel. They would express their voice. And it could be my voice is that you're not pulling your weight in the group. And we would go around the circle with voice until everyone has said their part. So like you could say something, pass a stick on the talking stick. It would go around and if you have something to say when it gets back to you, you can keep going until everyone just keeps passing around because there's no more words to say. Then we go on to ownership, which is something that we might have done constructively to negatively affect the situation. So Ownership could be, I was talking kind of disrespectfully when I got frustrated. And then pass it around until people don't have any more to say. Then we go to moccasins. And that is how we feel when we're in someone else's shoes. So, as an example, when I was in your shoes, I could have felt, or if I was in your shoes, I could have felt hurt by the way that others were treating me, or I might have felt that I was ganged up on. Everyone would go around. And then the plan. The plan is what we do to stop the situation from happening again so that we could eliminate that problem. And usually get to a good conclusion at the end of a ball because it's something that doesn't get taken lightly and the plan gets set in stone so that there's a consequence for every action, whether it's positive or negative. An example of a plan could be that that person might not get desserts if they're getting too many warnings about helping the group or that 
just, I mean, there's many different plans that we had to come up with so that people stayed in check, but that is my evening meeting in CFR and Vaughn. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 